So I'm about, I think, six days before my actual appointment with my oncologist. I don't know if you guys noticed the swelling in my face. Nice, my brother's making me, well, convincing me to go outside, get some vitamin D, you know, to prevent muscle atrophy, because I need my body whenever I'm gonna go through whatever I'm gonna go through. Yeah, so my face is swollen because, you know, the mass that's pressing against that one artery so it's making it highly uncomfortable for me right now i've been very uncomfortable for the last couple of days so hopefully we can get a plan started because right now everything's still unclear i just want answers and for now i'm just gonna do a little walk get a little exercise hey what's up guys just a update it is sunday the 13th as you guys can tell i look completely different from all the other videos because of the swelling in my face and i don't know if you could see the veins and cancer is something else shortness of breath so because up to this point nothing has really been done because we were waiting on the pathology report and all that stuff it's like one thing after another new things coming up it wasn't the stiff neck the cold sores neck seems to be much better now i've been able to sleep better but last night was horrible i kept waking up like every hour couldn't get comfortable <sighs> like this the shortness of the breath right now i'm just waiting for my sister she's coming over to take care of me as well as my mom because my brother had to work today just been working on my vlog please keep on sending those words of encouragement we'll get through this but man now I have a new thing it's like abdominal pain it's just a day every day is like something new up until uh, you know I start actually getting treatment but I'm so weirded out by my face getting all swollen as it is right now but you know I just gotta keep fighting staying positive yeah I just wanted to keep you guys updated my mom and I are here right now they're the ones taking care of me, trying to cook lunch so that hopefully I can eat because I don't really have much of an appetite. Hopefully I'll start eating a little bit more because it's important. It's very weird for me. You guys know I love to eat, but not having an appetite is so weird. All right, so today we got another issue on top of everything else. Hanson's got a pain coming on this side, right through here. Could be gas. Hopefully it's just gas, but um... Micro so farts are coming out. He's got um... Little gas. Two tumors on his liver, so... And that comes across this way. So th it could it could be related to that. We don't know. We're just trying to get him to burp it up or fart it out. Get him comfortable so he can get some sleep. I think um... The biggest issue right now is the coughing, the pain in his neck, and now, now this shit, causing him dif discomfort and he can't get enough sleep and rest. I'm trying to show him all the tricks that I do when I have gas issues. And walk around. Yeah, we're walking around, we're getting massages, we're heating pads, hot water, everything we can think of, get him comfortable so he can um, sleep. Are you drinking a lot of water too? I am. He's drinking a lot of water. I am, actually. Okay. So, trying to give him comfort so he can at least get sleep. His body needs sleep to help fight whatever it is. It's too skinny already, brother. How are you feeling? How are you feeling right now? I just want to get, like, I don't want an added thing. I want this just gone. Yeah, yeah. Okay, keep walking around. Yeah. Do your stretches as much as you can. Get them bubbles out of there. So at least you can sleep. Oh. oh my God. We're going around the whole house, trying the best position for him. He is so uncomfortable right now. You would think by laying down, it's fine. You know? mm. Gas, is, <laughs> Gas is a tricky thing. So, quick update guys. I am on my way to the emergency room because my appointment's not till the 17th and I can't take it anymore. The abdominal pain and discomfort, my face swollen, my neck super swollen too and the non-appetite. I, I need to be seen already and I can't wait. So, thank you to Andrew and my mom, they're taking me to the airport, uh, to the hospital right now, in the emergency room. And uh, I'll give you guys an update as soon as we're there. Currently in the emergency room. 
emergency room at UCSF. I mean, whatever I said, it's really what's going on. Mm -hmm. like, you know, when you were lying down earlier, just the thought of form the maze of waiting. I knew you were trying to comfort me and you were massaging my stomach. I was like, it's not helping. It's, it's not helping me right now. So I'm like, I think we need to go. Ate, if you're gonna come here, Ate can take you. She'll drive to the city, so you don't have to drive. Oh, hi. Hi, are you Mr. Nichols? Yeah, that's me. Hi, I'm Dr. Ayala. Hi, hi, nice to meet you. How are you feeling? It's, I've been trying to like, uh, be strong until my actual appointment on the 17th with my oncologist. Uh -huh. You can go because, ahead and lay down. Oh, can I, can I take off my shoes? Yeah, yeah. That's so uncomfortable. When I went in, I thought I just had a cough. Okay. And because of her, uh -huh. she, you know, pushy mom said, let's, uh -huh. let's get you in, let's, you know, but we had to go at San Diego, uh, to San Mateo. Uh -huh. And then what happened was, you know, they took an x-ray and they told me that they found three tumors in my chest uh -huh. and that they would need to do CT scan. So they did the CT scan so they could get a better picture. Where was this? Uh, at San Mateo. Okay. Right center. And then they told me like, one of the tumors is like pressing on a major artery, which is called it causing the, you know, uh -huh. and uh, why I'm having a hard time breathing or the cough mm -hmm. is because the other ones are also pressing, or some maybe swollen lymphodes are pressing on um, mm -hmm. some of the bronchial, mm -hmm. something like that. And then I have abdominal pain right now. This just started like a day and a half, okay. but it, it's so, I haven't been able to sleep. Have you spiked the temperature? When he checked me earlier, I was Oh, okay. You just felt really hot. Am I? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, because I got my gloves on and yeah. I was like, very oh, hot. His skin is so hot. Because <laughs> I was trying to massage him earlier. Yeah, his skin is hot. That's fever. why I said, did you have a fever? Yeah. You look like you have a fever because you're so hot. Yeah. Where is the pain generalized to? To sleep. In your abdomen? Right here. Yeah. Any vomiting or diarrhea with it? I have not uh -huh. had diarrhea. Uh -huh. I have felt nauseous when I was eating, uh -huh. so I wanted to like throw up, but I didn't. Oh, I you didn't throw didn't up? Didn't throw up. Were you able to finish the food? Yes. Oh, okay. I forced myself because uh, I need to eat. Yeah. But I don't have an appetite. Okay, how long? I have just forced him to eat. I haven't slept. You haven't slept? I haven't slept because of discomfort. Uh huh. Okay, your vitals don't look too bad. Okay. It's just your heart rate really, It's just the heart rate, yeah. Because I checked my blood pressure at home too, mm -hmm. and it was... Well, it's high, huh? His heart rate? Yeah, it's in the one eight, one teens, but it's to be expected. Mm -hmm. A lot of this price situation. Yeah. Okay. He's resting a little bit. He's got an IV now, so he's actually eating. Blood's a little high. The heartbeat. The heartbeat. Got my food and over here. He's eating adobo right now. <laughs> and Foxil Nalicho. It's kind of cold. Mm -hmm. so, bro, I gotta do a, a CAT scan. Right now, a CT scan. So, another CT scan, but this time with my hospital UCSF. So. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. okay, bye. Have fun. Mom, are you? Are <laughs> videoing me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Comes with the territory.
right off to my CT scan. What floor is that on? Uh, we're on the eighth and we're going to the third. Oh, okay. CT number four. Okay, here we go. I totally forgot my mask. He's gonna get me one right now. So do you guys remember me saying the God's intervention thing? Well, we're actually doing the biopsy on the lung because that will tell us a lot. Because remember up to now, we still don't know anything. I've been waiting all day for my biopsy and currently I'm just waiting my turn. Well, it is my turn, but I'm gonna go in soon and finally get this CT scan and that will help with the biopsy because it's assisted or something like that. So biopsy time. Uh, there's a lot that happened this morning. I have a lot of updates for you, but I'll get back to you guys as soon as I'm done with this. So we went through like all the risks. The whole procedure is gonna be taking about one hour. I'm gonna be lying on my face Finally, we get to know what is wrong with me. What do I actually have? So they briefed me, had to sign everything, gave me the risks, but yeah, fake news of the other one. <laughs> we should have done this one probably to begin with. I'm in the recovery room after my biopsy. What's up guys? A lot of updates have already happened. I've spoken to so many doctors. I'm at UCSF right now. I've been here for a couple of days now. Earlier today, I had a biopsy. I saw that it was successful. At least there was no puncturing of my lungs and I was my lungs weren't bleeding. I spoke to a lot of doctors and tomorrow I have a procedure. I'm having stents put in uh, one of my veins that's being totally squeezed on so they're gonna relieve it by um, putting a stent in there which will expand and relieve me from all this pressure that I have on my neck right now that's happening tomorrow at 12 midnight I can't eat because of the stent that they're gonna be putting in and then my endocrinologist came in earlier and they believe but this is initial that it's my thyroid cancer that came back but the biopsy will tell us more details it is highly likely that the papillary not carcinoma came back but we'd have to wait for that to come in i'm limited to drinking this amount of water a day this that's all I'm allowed to um, drink for the whole day. You know, I didn't eat all day, but it was a, there was a nice surprise. My mom brought me torta. It was so good. I haven't had an appetite. I haven't been eating. But when I saw that, I, would, I ate as much as I could. But, you know, this kind of stops me from eating a little bit more. I have this thing on right now because I've been sweating. Because I've been overwhelmed. Sorry, I have a hard time because of this. See, the vein. Basically, I'm hoping for the best. We were supposed to start radiation to target this um, tumor already, but we will see because I might change my mind and see and wait for the pathology report to actually come in. So I was overwhelmed. I met a lot of the doctors, talked to them. I asked a lot of questions. I think it's important to ask them a lot of questions to your doctors, find out what your options are. And basically, I've been here and getting the treatment that I finally need. It's been tough um, because obviously it's not an easy thing to go through what I'm going through right now. But basically, uh, you know, I just gotta keep on going see what my options are and uh, wish me luck tomorrow for the stent that would be put in because I have a condition that is called SVC and basically because of that pushing on that vein that's why I I'm having a hard time just being getting comfortable but hopefully I get instant relief after so this is all happening tomorrow I just can't wait to get some relief so I'll keep you guys posted. Wish me luck.